All right, we ready? Obviously, um, it's hard to win on the road, and so to win the way we did is, is, is good. Um, but more importantly, it's, it's how we're playing. We're getting better. Um, we gained a lot of confidence from getting a close win the other night. And, um, you know, we really, we, we knew we were going to get Rutgers' best shot, especially early. Um, they had time to get ready for us, and they played great. Had great energy. The building was terrific. Um, and then we just were really good. We, we, we were as good as we've been defensively. We were as good as we've been offensively. Shared the ball and uh, just really finished the half the right way. Now, played a little bit like a younger team in the second half. We lost our concentration a little bit, but we played a lot of guys, five guys in double figures. Only had 11 turnovers on the road, uh, 15 assists. Um, it was a quick turnaround. And, uh, and it was great to see you know, a lot of Terps in the building. It's always great. Questions, uh, Mark, uh, it was, I think it was 13-7, 15-12, and that, somewhere around there you had Bruno, Bruno and <coughs> Anthony on the bench. What turned the game so quickly with the lineup you had? And, and I mean, did, did having those guys, I mean, I, I think you took them out for plays they shouldn't have made, um, or one foul and Anthony the turnover, but does it, do you think that that sent the message at all to, to the guys on the floor? I wasn't trying to send a message to the players or to Bruno or Anthony. I'm just trying to build depth. And um, I thought I thought Bruno was tired. And I thought Anthony hadn't come. You know, I thought he was tired during that stretch. But I think we started making shots. We got to the foul line, and our defense was terrific. So I mean, we got, I didn't mention Daryl. How about how good Daryl Marcel was today defensively? Uh, especially in the first half on, on a really good player, uh, Baker, who had our attention. So um, really proud of Daryl. He always has to guard the best guy, and he keeps stepping up. And tonight he was great. Um, so, But, I, you know, we're, we're building depth, Don. After we lost to Seton Hall, I was just – it's like we got to build depth. We're getting tired late in games. we got to build depth, and we've done it, and guys have stepped up and played well. Mark, one of those guys is Sorrell, you know, obviously yeah. another – Good game at both ends of the floor. Yeah. Didn't yeah, it's kind of amazing how far Sorrell's come defensively and where he was when we got him in June, and how how committed he is to being a good defender. Um, he got his hands on a lot of balls, got some steals. Um, you know, he was terrific. And then we all know he can score. You know, he'd shoot every time by a lot of. Uh, I just try to get him to pass it every now and then. But um, yeah, he's really come a long ways fast. And, or gaining confidence in them. Uh, follow up on that, do you think that was important for Sorrell after the Purdue game to be able to come to a road Big Ten game and play like that? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> he's just getting better. I, I think it was good for all of us. You know, I think we're all just getting more confident. People are going to forget that we're five of our top eight guys are freshmen. You know, it's pretty amazing what these young guys are doing, to be honest with you. Um, but we're talented. Key is is that we just keep getting better. So I'm happy for all of them, you know. Ricky, I thought Aaron had a better second half. Uh, Aaron defended well, um, and they're all they're all playing with confidence. Even 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 had six rebounds in limited time. So um, it's good to you know we got three games. We got games every three days forever. It feels like, and so it's good to be able to play our bench tonight. Mark, how well? How, how deep do you believe this league is, and, and just how tough does that make it for a team like Rutgers, who hasn't had much know. success trying to find its way? Hey, I'm a nervous wreck just thinking about our schedule and how young we are, you know. And um, it's hard to get over the hump when you're young. And um, I don't know their schedule. I haven't looked at it. They're clearly a better team than they've been. Um, we were terrific today. We were really good. Um, but I think they're going to win some games here. I think they're going to win some road games. You know, they played Wisconsin tough on the road. So, um, but it's hard. It's hard to get over the hump. But, you know, they don't lose a lot. They're building it. Steve's doing it the right way. They're getting good players. And um, it's a process. And I, I think as this year goes on, they're going to get a lot better. And I think in the future, they got a chance to be really good. Mark, what do you think of the way uh, Montez Mathis played? He's yeah. a Maryland guy. I'm sure you're familiar with him. He was fired up, wasn't he? <laughs> Jesus. There's so many guys in our area. It feels like every game we're playing against a guy that I um, 
that wanted to play at Maryland. So I was happy for him. But he made that three uh, in the first half after he had the dunk. He's a great kid. Known him. We recruited him. Um, known him for a long time. Um, I was happy for him. Uh, he's, he's a big piece for them. He's really helping them. He's really good defensively. Gives them energy. And uh, puts foul pressure on you. So he's, he's a really good piece for their team. Yeah, yeah Mark, yeah. From three, you didn't shoot a great percentage, but it seemed like you shot, you hit shots, you know, during that stretch, and also the shot that yeah. Ayala hit coming out of the timeout yeah. against the zone, yeah. sort of that, that sort of ended any. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I think we missed a lot of open ones, and we made some big ones. And so instead of getting down to 12 or 10 or nine, we were able to keep it 15 to 18 or whatever 20. So, um, but we had some really great ball movements, you know. Uh, Bruno had five assists, two turnovers. That's, I mean, you were you watched him last year. That's huge. How far that kid's come. So, um, and he sees all different kinds of double teams and help downs and all that kind of stuff. So, really proud of him. But yeah, we made some timely shots. Patrick, uh, you mentioned three every, game every three days or so. Be able to get through this one with only one guy playing thirty plus minutes. Let's Who was it? I can't see Anthony. his name. Okay, Anthony. He can handle it. Anthony can play 80 minutes a game. So, yeah, uh, I think we're going to take tomorrow off. I think we need to. We've been hitting these guys pretty hard. Just get a full day off and just kind of get re refreshed and go because we got Minnesota Tuesday, Indiana Friday, and Wisconsin the following Monday. So, last one, anyway. Um, I feel like we were just talking about this, but is the slow start concerning still, and is it harder to find rhythm on the road? Yeah, I think it was the building. I think it was the nerves. Um, they were they were jacked up. Um, they were fired up, ready to play. And I, quite honest with you, I thought we started pretty well, considering we were two for twelve um, to start. But um, we are who we are. But we are getting better. And we're talented. And we're figuring it out. So that's that's what's important. Thanks, coach. Yeah. Thanks, Paul.